We start with developing news out of Antioch this afternoon where a civil lawsuit has just been filed on behalf of several people who say they are victims of some of the officers named in the Antioch Police Department text message scandal. Crowd 4's Hazik Manute has the story. I have been harassed and targeted and railroaded by the Antioch Police Department for over 10 years. Claimed that I was dealing drugs. I didn't know a soul here. When you read that list with all the officers, that first 20, 40, all of those officers beat my son except three. These residents are part of a federal civil rights lawsuit announced here outside the Antioch Police Department. The litigation is against the city of Antioch and members of APD who are named in an investigation by the FBI and the Contra Costa District Attorney's Office. That investigation revealed over two dozen officers allegedly involved in a text group exchanging racist, sexist, and anti-LGBTQ messages and images directly related to the individuals and family members of people named in the suit. Now we know this is how they talk to each other. And now everyone knows. And what that means is that nobody, nobody from the poorest to the richest person in Antioch can trust or rely upon the Antioch Police Department. In addition to seeking damages for the five plaintiffs named in the suit, the legal action aims to place Antioch PD under external management, similar to that of the federal oversight at the Oakland Police Department. But the only thing that we can assure you of is the status quo cannot maintain itself here. No, it cannot. And we have to identify what changes we can do and the first thing is you've got to get rid of these officers who were involved in all of this. And the ones that are left, we have to see if they're salvageable or not. The attorney representing a number of the officers named in the tech scandal released a statement that reads in part, quote, We understand the public scrutiny of police officers throughout the nation and acknowledge that revelations of text messaging, such as that reported in this case, can provoke emotional and even sometimes hateful responses. Nevertheless, police officers, even when accused of potential misconduct, should be afforded basic and fundamental rights of due process. Unquote. Hazik Madyun, Cron for News.